Hi, Suffern Central, I'm Dr. Gunderson, and this is the March edition of the Suffern Scoop. Spring is finally here, and Suffern Central is in full bloom as we head into the hopefully warmer months. Suffern's music department is well known for its stellar musical productions, and 2023 is no exception. Earlier this month, 7th and 8th graders performed Newsies to rave reviews. Here, take a look. We chose Newsy because we love the history of it. We thought the kids would enjoy it and have a lot of fun with it. There's a ton of dancing, there's a ton of singing. I sort of felt like I found my people for this sort of thing. It made me like befriend a lot of other people who did it. I made so many amazing friends and I made so many lovely memories and I just wanted to do that all again. There are about 81 kids in the cast, crew, pit, and AV. What's unique about our production and our pit, the elementary school music teachers play with our seventh and eighth grade orchestra and band students. It gives them confidence and it gives them a role model to follow. The seventh and eighth grade musical is a collaborative effort by Constance Shearer, by Julia Picard, Fredo Raymond, and myself. There's a lot of different domains that help the seventh and eighth grade musical uh, to have a successful production. Next up is our greatly anticipated high school performance of Once Upon a Mattress, which debuts this Thursday at 7 p.m. If you can't make it to opening night, catch the show on Friday or Saturday too. Showtimes and ticket info can be found on our website, but in the meantime, here's a sneak peek. We picked Once Upon a Mattress because it allowed really the most collaboration between our staff members and our students. Our music department is unlike any other in the area. We have over 50 students involved in our cast, over 50 people in the pit orchestra, our stage crew and our AV crew, it's all student run. It's a very close community with everyone who does the musicals. Coming to see all the shows when I was younger here, it just seemed like such a magical thing to do and it truly has been nothing but magical. This is a good year to do a big, happy, fun show. We really want to bring an entertaining, wonderful performance for everybody to come to, whether you have somebody that you're related to in the show or not. Mental health and wellness are an integral part of the student experience at Suffern Central, and we're happy to announce the creation of a wellness team at Suffern High School. Led by Assistant Principal Danielle Castaldo and Suffern High School staffers, the team partners with students and clubs to facilitate activities and give kids the support they need. There is a major shift now with wellness. Mental health is more than just about suicide prevention. We're working towards wellness, and that's the everyday involvement and interactions with one another. The wellness team is now comprised of 18 staff members. Our hope is that the wellness team will help support our students and that people know that this is a safe environment in which to work. We want to encourage our students to speak to one another, speak to us. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to come talk to us. No matter what the issue, we're here to be there when you need us. We're starting to have a lot of wellness activities built into our day at the high school, from art classes and meditation place for people to just kind of decompress and like have a quiet space. And it really kind of helps with the flow of the day. Student voice is critical, and we have to pay attention to that in order to best meet their needs. A few weeks ago, the wellness team also welcomed the JCK Foundation, who spoke to students about the importance of making connections and prioritizing their mental health. I can offer my true self to the people around me, and I can be accepted. And the work that we do is we go into high schools, middle schools, we work with students, faculty, parents alike, and just try to make mental health as approachable as possible. We're just trying to give the students the power to, to be exactly who they are. Three things that are so important, honesty, vulnerability, and self-acceptance. So what we really do is we create the environment, the space, and the community for those seeds to be grown a little bit. And then once those things happen, we can take it in any direction that it needs to be taken. Speaking of wellness, our district is excited to announce the first One Suffern Day celebration event, which will take place on Sunday, May 21st, at Suffern Middle School. This free day of fun is being organized in conjunction with the REACH Foundation and will feature a slew of activities and events for the whole family. Mark your calendar, Suffern Central, and stay tuned for more details. As always, 
Thanks for watching and see you soon, Suffern. Together we are one Suffern. Together we are one Suffern. Together we are one Suffern.